This is a headlight restoration kit from 3M and in today's video I'm going to be using it on my own car and asking two questions. One, does it work? And two, assuming it does work, should you buy it? Let's get to it. Before I head out to the car though, let's just have a quick look at what's involved with the kit and a little explanation about why a kit is required. When your car has plastic headlights, in order to stop those headlights being damaged by sun and UV rays, they come coated with a film from factory. Unfortunately, that film degrades itself over time. So after about 10 or 11 years or so on, in the UK's weather at least, it goes yellow. And the best and simplest way to deal with it is to effectively rub it off using different grades of sandpaper. General advice is that you start with a low grit level, 400 or so on, and then you move up the grit, 600, 800, 1000, increasingly reducing the amount of cut, but improving the clarity. And then you get to a point where you can polish out all those very fine scratches to get yourself back to a crystal clear headlight. And then you use a sealant or a protectant to continue to protect them for years to come. So in this 3M kit, we start over here with some masking tape used to mask up around the headlights to protect the paint when you're using all of the other equipment. We've then got the attachment for your cordless drill. That's one of the two things you need to supply in addition to the kit. And that goes into your cordless drill and is Velcro back to enable you to then use these sanding discs. In this particular case, you get six of the P500. That's quite a coarse grit uh, to do the initial cut and then you go through with your three P800s, that's a little uh, finer to remove some of those more fine scratches. And then once you've done that, you go to this P3000, which is a very fine grit, and you've only got one of those, and you get again onto your drill and use that to get your headlights nice and polished. Final step then is to then attach this polishing pad and use the polishing compound or rubbing compound as 3M call it, to bring back absolute clarity. So let's go to the car and put it to the test. The second item you're expected to bring is some way of cleaning your headlights. In my case, I'm just using some sp spray detailer from Meguiar's, but just spray it on your headlights to make sure they're clean before doing any of the sanding. So as to be sure that we aren't contaminating those sanding discs with any dirt. Also in my particular case, because it's been raining, I need to make sure the car is dry in order that my masking tape will stick and I can protect the paint while we do the sanding. Once that's done, next step then is to use the supplied masking tape and mask up around the headlight to make sure that any, uh, if we go over the edge slightly, we aren't damaging any of the paint on the car. With that done, it's then a case of getting this P500 sanding disc. This is the roughest of the discs that we've got and attaching that to the drill uh, plate um, just like that, it's Velcro back, so there's no issue. Just get it centralized like that, and then popping that in our drill and getting started, taking off that hazy coating that you can see across the top here of the headlight. Finally, in my particular case, I'm gonna set it to slow speed just to start, so one on my tool, and then let's see how we get on. And then just in that, that first section, you can see already it started to rain, unfortunately, but you can see already how yellow it all is. This is all of this contaminated coating that I'm pulling off. Actually, the lens down here looks in much better shape. So I'm gonna go down uh, here, but probably not go all the way. As you can see, that first cut, everything is very yellow. There's lots of material there that I'm going to need to remove. So again, just using my quick detailer, I'm going to just spritz it and just wipe it off. Okay, I can see what this mark is now. This looks like one of those European headlight adjusters for when we travel for right-hand drive cars going into left-hand drive markets. It's like a beam adapter or something. So again, want to get rid of that. I don't want that showing up. But as you can see, you're now getting a nice consistent haze and a lot of that yellowing has gone. But let's give it another go.
So that's for the P500 disc. I'm very happy with that. That's now very consistent. I've just pulled the car a bit further into the garage to get out of the rain. So next step then is to go with this, the P800 disc. Um, and let's see how we get on with that because that should now start bringing some of these deeper scratches out and getting us a little closer to clarity. So with the first pass on the P800, we can see a lot of that yellowing has gone from that early stage of the P500. So let's just clean this off and see how we're getting on. Okay, yeah, that's coming up much nicer. That's much more uniform. I'm gonna give it another go over with this disc, P800, and then we'll move on to the third disc. So I'm happy with how that's come out. Again, that's now feeling nice and smooth. It's worth noting that I've done this job before using just regular wet and dry, and I've always used water when I'm doing it. The instructions say, they don't say anything about using water. They're saying effectively give the instructions to use these discs dry, so I'm following the instructions. Uh, but it's interesting nonetheless. Anyway, onto our third and final disc. This is the 3000 Trizac disc. Um, so let's pop that on, and hopefully we'll get much more clear or the clarity continuing to come through. So again, that's going very nicely. I'm going to up the speed though on the drill and the, hence I've just masked this off. You can't say, see, but this stands proud of the lens. At slower speed, it's easy to avoid, but now I'm moving up the speed. I'm just doing that just to be absolutely certain I'm not going to hit it. Right, onto the improved speed, same disc, this 3000. Again, as you'd expect, that's working really nicely. That's refining down. So that's our sanding and our refining done. And now we move on to our polishing stage using our orange foam pad. So let's get that added to the drill. So here we are, orange pad on the drill. I've added a small amount of the rubbing compound and just spread it around on the pad. And now we just go in, in. I've set the drill still on high speed and we'll just see if we can polish out the last of these marks. So we go with uh, polishing pad done, and now I've got a different microfiber, bleh, microfiber towel in order to take out this final residue. And there we go, that is looking a hundred times better. Really, really nice. I'll give that one last go just to get out some of these final marks, and then I think we're good. Forgot to mention earlier, it's always good just to spread your polish around on your headlight lens just to stop it flinging off and to give, make sure you've got polish in all the right places. And there we go, after two passes, looking really, really nice. Final step then is just to remove all your masking tape and we can do a comparison with the other side, which remains as it was untouched. So there we go, that's how to use the 3M headlight restoration kit to improve the look of your existing plastic headlights if they've gone faded or yellow. Now in answer to those two questions I posed at the beginning of the video, yes, the kit absolutely works. A couple of observations, because you've got circular discs, you may have seen me struggling to get into that very sharp point 
down at the bottom of the headlight. And I think if you had just regular wet and dry paper and you were using your fingers, you can get into those corners a little bit easier, but that's minor. Otherwise, I think absolutely it works really well. It is also worth noting though that having polished those headlights, they don't have any kind of sealant or protection on them. Now the UK is not that hot a country. I suspect that would last at least a year, but if you're in somewhere that's very hot and very sunny, you would want to protect your plastic lenses with some other thing. There is a technique of using um, spray lacquer, 2K type lacquer, and then it's a lot more involved. You need to mask up the front of your car to make sure you don't get overspray and so on. But that absolutely is the belts and braces approach to solving this problem of headlights. Should you buy it is the second question. I think if you don't have any of the existing equipment, you don't have a rotary polisher, or you don't have a dual action polisher, and you don't have polish for polishing your cars, then absolutely everything you need comes in this kit to get your headlights looking much, much better than they would do if you weren't to do anything at all. So in that respect, yes, you should buy it. If you are an enthusiastic detailer who's already got a rotary polisher, has already got a cupboard full of polish, then I don't think you should buy it. I think your existing equipment is more than sufficient and all you would need to do is buy a couple of sheets of, of wet and dry paper at the right grit levels to just pull out that original coating and then you can get to uh, using your rotary with your existing products to achieve the same result. Otherwise guys, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, do let me know, send me a comment, send me a like and I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.